the network. Always comes up is everyone wants the sponsor for the event. Like everyone wants to be able to put an event together and say, like, oh cool, I had Red Bull there. Yeah. I had X and Y there. So are there any are there any actionable steps that someone with a solid event reputation could start doing today to, to start reaching out to sponsors? Like what what advice would you give to someone who wants to get people like that on their stuff? Um well I would say this. What you see these sponsors at, like if you see other events going on and you see that they're sponsored or powered by these brands, go to the events and try to meet the person. Mm. Um, that's the first step, like how I um, built a relationship with my Google Connect. Actually, my homeboy, a close friend of mine, actually, he had his um, event with Google first. And then I actually I didn't get to make it to his event because we had an event that same day. I'm like, dang, I'm not gonna be able to meet the dude from Google. So then someone else ended up having an event with Google and I just went to the event, found who I needed to speak with. Actually I reckon I recognized who he was on Instagram first. So when I saw him in person, I know exactly who I need to speak with. And so when I saw him in person, I just knew what exactly to say. Like, you need to have a plan, too. A lot of people, y'all go to people, and you don't even have a plan. And then that automatically kind of makes the conversation go left because you don't even know what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. You don't even know what you want. And a lot of times what I do, I already have a deck created for what I want. So, but therefore, you can't even tell me no. So, my very first event, um, I already had the deck created. And like, I just what's, said, a, what's a deck for people that don't know? Uh, so a sponsorship, a sponsorship deck is basically, and I'm gonna try to simplify it. It's like a slideshow that details step by step what the event is, when, why, where, and it's just basically telling the person why, why you want to do the event, why they should be a part of the event, when will the event be, who will it cater to. What can you bring to the table? What would they get out of the sponsorship? And things of that nature. So that's to dumb it down for those that may not know what, what it is. But it's literally like creating a slideshow or a presentation to tell somebody why they should come to this event and why is it important to you and how it can benefit them in the long run. Hmm. So like a blueprint pretty much telling them like this is why it would be beneficial. Yeah, this is why it's beneficial for you to be a part of this. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, and uh, that's what I do. I just create. I create decks and I present them to people. But I will go to those events with people who I want to connect with, or brand that I want to connect with, or whatever. And 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 really, before even that, you should start writing stuff down. Like in the top of the year, I was writing down different brands or people or creatives or whoever I want to work with, and I manifest those things because like my Red Bull plug. It came out of nowhere, mm -hmm. literally out of nowhere. But I manifested this early last year, and I was able to build a relationship late last year. And so now, early this year, I'm able to create an, uh, an event with them. So um, I say first, the first step is, like, you just need to get out there and go to the events where you see the sponsors and figure out who to talk to. Ask questions. Ask anybody. Ask the doorman. Ask the secretary at the front desk, you know who so-and-so is? Like, more likely they had to introduce themselves when they first entered that building. So those are the type of people you need to be paying attention to. The people you overlook, it's people you need to be paying attention to. Have you ever made a sponsorship connection just through cold reaching out through social media or anything? Um, or just through any cold reach out process? Like, has it, has it always been you had a... It was for I I feel like for some reason I was just been a relationship, mm. and just so happened like a lot of times my friends ended up in positions like mm. a lot of the times these people didn't have these positions when I first met them they probably was somewhere else doing something totally different and then when the opportunity presented itself for them to be in a higher uh, in a higher up position it even opened up doors for me to have a connection inside. Um, a connection inside their company at that time for me to expand and grow. So um, sometimes I, I think a lot of it just came from my relationships, and then I just looked up to have dope friends that ended up doing dope shit. So yeah, it's it's cool that you say that because I remember 
Like, I feel like everyone, when they first try to get in the industry, we always try to reach out to people who are bigger than us, right? And they always say the same thing. They always like, deal with your peers and, yep. and shit will work out. And then at first you're like, what, what are you talking about? My friend works at like FedEx. Like, what are you talking right. about? But then in two years, your friend that wanted to be a DJ has been grinded in two years. Now that DJ for a bigger artist and that exactly. can help you put into those positions. So would you, for someone that wants to get into this same space, would you would you advise them to put more of their energy into relationship building and maintenance, and maintenance, or more into the like creative, like creative, uh, refining their creative uh, approach to the way they put things together? Um, they kind of can do both. You definitely want to build the relationships, but also when you're doing a good job at something, people gonna start to recognize you. Mm. Um, so we, like dope people meet. When I created dope people meet. So many people underestimated me, didn't open up their doors for me, wouldn't do nothing. When my mentor, Jason Reddy, opened up his doors to me at, at, at the ASCAP office, that's all I needed. Mm -hmm. Just give me a chance to see, just give me a chance to either succeed or fail on my own. But I don't need you to tell me that I'm going to fail. Let me figure it out. You get what I'm saying? So the thing is, for me, I just feel like it's better when you can just create and allow yourself to fail if you're going to fail. But by the grace of God, I've just been able to go up and up from dope people meet. A lot of people that I have relationships with now and people that are trying to do stuff for me on the back end and things of that nature came from them seeing the work. Mm -hmm. It didn't come from a relationship or anything. It was just like, yo, I saw what you did. That was dope. Like, I, oh, my gosh, this was the best panel we came to at A3C. Like, oh, my gosh, this, this, and that. Your work speaks for itself. So outside of just building relationships, you also need to have a unique platform or brand, whatever it is that you're building, for um that people can respect and grow with with you, you know, as you're still building it. Because, like, right now, I don't know the answer to everything. Like, people, mm -hmm. I tell my team that all the time. Like, just because on the outside looking in, y'all think, oh, my gosh, it's so great. Everything is this and everything is that. Y'all don't know what's going on. Mm -hmm. Y'all don't really know. Y'all let y'all see what y'all want to see. Y'all know what y'all want to know. From, work to make stuff yeah. look easy. Yeah, we just <laughs> we just make you believe what you want to believe, but it would be so much more to it than you could you could see, mm -hmm. you know. And so um I think it's just a good thing to do both. Like I said, just build the build the relationship but also be dope at what you do too because just cuz you have a relationship don't mean you going to have the opportunity to create and build with that person either. Like mm -hmm. then I'm just cuz it's your friend don't mean she fl just follow through all the time either. That's not a rule. Yeah, I I try to take the approach that Cause I have friends that are, for lack of better terms, are like bigger positions than I'm in the industry. I have friends that are like, for lack of better terms, like in lower positions mm -hmm. than I'm in the industry. And I've always just looked at like, just wait. Like if it's meant to happen, we'll work it's together. It's gonna happen if regardless. Not, I still support yep. you over there doing your yep. thing. You know what I'm saying? And hopefully it works out. So let's let's pivot in. It's the network.